I'm Todd Quinn. I'm a librarian here at the University of New Mexico. And today we're going to talk about bibliographic managers and what they do. So say you have you know, a group of books that you've read, you've put some notes down. Maybe you have, you know, say 10 articles and maybe two reports. And you're going to put all this into a paper that you're writing. But now you have the 10 articles are in one folder, the reports are in another, you have these books, you have notes on paper, They're, it's all over the place. So what do you do? So you use a bibliographic manager. And what does, that, what does that do? It's a piece of software, most of them are free. And while you're um, looking for literature, it allows you to collect content. So articles, reports, it automatically collects metadata for most of the content. And what I mean by metadata, that's the author, the title, the abstract, etc. It allows you to organize all that content into various folders. So you could have five folders for all your content, one for each report, or one for each um, article you're writing, etc. And what's really nice for each item that you have that you've collected you can add your notes. So, in one location, you can have the metadata for each item. You can have the PDF connected to it. You have your notes also there. And then what you get to do is incorporate it into your writing. So, say you're writing your paper, and you want to do an in-text citation. You take the, all this information with your manager open, you incorporate it. So maybe you grab one of the notes that you had, you paste it in there, you clean up the language a little bit, and then you want to cite it in text. You call it up, pull it in, and it'll do the citation for you in the style of your choosing. And you can do this over and over again, and at the very end, you can create your bibliography. So then it has all that information in the style you want. So in one location with a bibliographic manager, you have all your content, you have all your notes, it's organized, and it incorporates into Microsoft Word and, or Google Docs. Now the most popular ones out there are Zotero, EndNote, and Mendeley. There's others, but these are the three most popular ones. Now let's go take a look at them.